Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, Monday morning podcast just before Friday. And I. Just checking in on you. I uh, I got a special guest here. I'm out here on the road. I'm out here in Texas. You know, came in, did Austin. Bunch of hippie liberals <laughs> down there with that, that, that tri-colored flag, if you know what I mean. All the colors of the Crayola box. <laughs> um, then we did Houston, and now we're in Dallas. I am with the one and only, the pride of Trenton. <laughs> the best looking guy on long island uh, ladies and gentlemen dude i called it yes. mr paul verzi what's, himself what's up man i'll tell you what's up paul right. verzi yeah has a new cd yes that is dropping i believe that's how the rappers and the kids it's say dropping it. in less than 24 hours yes and it's called night at the stand yes because it was taped live at the stand. At the stand. Yeah. We'll do it live. Well, I didn't want to do live. Everyone's like live at this, live at that. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm just going to stick to night. Night at the stand. Why don't you do pre-recorded? <laughs> pre-recorded <laughs> at the stand. At the stand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Because only like three three comics. I didn't think I would get that joke. I mean, pre-recorded. What does that mean? Yeah. He's making fun of it, saying live. Oh, you like that little piece that the uh, the piece of shit TV's on? That's a little Art Deco. Yeah, and the yeah. TV's way too small for that piece. It's unbelievable. That's like a toupee. If I had a yeah. little small toupee, <laughs> yeah. if I had a small toupee in my giant Charlie Brown head, that's yeah. what the fuck it would look like, that, that TV over there. It's so nice here, though. me and Verzi have been going through uh, Texas. Um, I got here Sunday night and Monday, right? So as people know, last week after my, my 72-day run, I think I came up a couple hours short of 72 hours, but uh, I did 72-day cleanse because somebody told me it takes 72 days to cleanse your liver. And somebody told me on Twitter, goes, dude, it's 72 hours, you fucking dope. I heard but it was I, 40 days, so. I, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got their own. Jesus walked through the. Somebody the, was like 40 days is when your liver is fully recovered. No, 40 days is Noah's Ark with the with the, uh, with the shrubs. <laughs> I, I, what do the, I fucking know? And the yaks. You know, you know me, dude. I, do not, I don't drink for two, three days, and I'm like, I'm good. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cigars. I didn't. I didn't Wait smoke a minute. cigars. Let's, let's let's back up here. Okay. Those are what we we what we just did was we threw out all a bunch of numbers. We got to figure out what these mean. Right. Forty days. Yeah. That was uh, Moses. Forty days and forty nights. He wandered around. Was it Abraham? I Bill. And I, he led the Jews out of the forest. I don't so know. I didn't, I didn't go to the CC. desert and and find freedom. I, I, dude, I, I was one of those because I didn't go to CCD. I didn't. You know, my father Noah's grew up, Ark. My Noah's Ark. It was going to rain. For 40 days and 40 nights. Dude, the only thing I know about Noah's Ark is he took a bunch of animals on a ship. How much fucking was going on that ship? (laughs) He's got a male and a female. You know what's funny? It must have been a nightmare on that ship. Shit everywhere. Animals shitting. (laughs) You never see that. (laughs) Out of all the stories. Imagine Noah just came out like, what the fuck? (laughs) Did you ever see, you ever hear uh, Joe Rogan's bit on that? Joe actually took the time, which is why I love his act. He actually took the time to research, which I never do. (laughs) How many species? That's just, just what we know. How many species are on the planet? Really? Yeah, and saying it was it was well into the millions, and he would have had to have two of each. And he had a guy like I'm not gonna do it. It just ended with this moron guy just going like, uh, "How big was that fucking boat?" <laughs> <laughs> just completely. Uh, it was one of those religious arguments that the other person would just say, "You're gonna go to hell." I'm praying for you because they they would have there's no, no way to there's, yeah. there's no rebuttal. Can't so, combat that. So, anyways, Paul, you know you're a tough guy for me to hang out with because I get along with you so well, yeah. and uh, you like to smoke and drink and go to the fucking IHOP and all that. Well, and God damn it, that's what we've been doing. But let's just back up for a second. You you are a very big influence. You're a bad influence, don't, too. Don't you, put, don't no, put you're a bad influence, Don't you Bill. put this on me, you no, son of a bitch. No, because I, I came here to promote your album. <laughs> you're going to do this to me? No, dude. You're one of those guys where as soon as you go, yeah, like when I know you're in, it's fucking, dude, you're hard to keep up with. Here's the thing about Bill. When you drink with Bill, when he really wants to drink, it's just, it's never a no. He goes, yeah, and I'll be you want to do another shot? You just go. You get that look. Yeah. And once you do that, dude, I woke up. I missed my kids. I woke up. <laughs> I woke up. My wife was ready to, to fucking divorce me, dude. 
Because of oh, you. that's right. Yeah. Because of, because of me. You well, got no, a mom. You, you just you kept going, know. and I was like, I'm not saying no to when I'm in. We were hammered first period of the game. We went to that, we went Ranger to that Rangers game. game. We were hammered first. Period. We were drinking. <laughs> we were drinking like pint vodkas, <laughs> dude. That was the night. You go, dude, dude, dude. George Stephanopoulos. George Stephanopoulos, and it was fucking Jeff Gordon. Oh, that's that right. That was that night, dude. That's right. And then you, you were a good friend. You go, Verzi. I am not letting you drive. You cannot drive. You know what's funny? You were so down. afraid of your wife taking your head off. Dude, you were like movie drunk. And I said, Paul, just lay down here yeah. for a couple hours. At least get, <laughs> you, you go, know. I can't let you drive, dude. Just sit down. Smash cut. My phone's going off. I look at 709. I was supposed to be an hour north to get my kids. And my wife's going, where? Uh, I don't even want to get. It, yeah, was, yeah. it was It was bad. You know, where have you been? What the fuck? And then, dude. Oh, I did your solid, though. You did. You did do. Yeah, you took some mustard off her fastball. I did. You know? I sent her a cute text. Yeah. Yeah. Put the blame on me. Yeah. Yeah. I told her, I was like, listen, my friend it's helped hilarious. me out. hilarious. She took mustard off her fastball. <laughs> <laughs> had to look out for you. That was like that guy last night when I got into there with that lady in the crowd, and we were really getting into that whole debate about the wage gap. And then I looked over, and I saw the guy. She was with her husband or something. I felt so bad. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, dude. I was just like, dude. I heard you say that, and yeah. I was laughing. Yeah, that's great. I was like, you got to drive home with her, and she's going to act like you said it. And I just was saying, and I... I I tried to take a little. I felt bad for that guy. Yeah, because he was sitting there staring at me like, "Dude, like really?" I heard you say, "Listen, the ride home's gonna suck, but it's it's me, not yeah. him." He didn't say any of it. Yeah, that's right. And I said, "Just to let you know, while I was saying that, he was shaking his head, going, oh, I don't agree with this." I did what I could. Did he really shake his head? No, of course he didn't. Uh, right. <laughs> well, I hope he's not listening to this. Of course he didn't. No, I was trying to somehow. You know, I felt bad. I felt like I did a Kobe Bryant. You know, Shaq does it too. You know what I mean? Dra- what the fuck am I dragging in? The into? amount of fucking guys that are scared of their women, it's fucking a disgrace, isn't it? It is. Unless you're dating like Ronda Rousey or somebody with like, like I would be scared of her. Even Ronda Rousey wouldn't respect if her. I was, like, I, 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 I was with, no, if I was with Ronda Rousey, I'd be like, dude, I gotta get home. <laughs> <laughs> Ronda should be home by 11. I ain't fucking with this. No, dude, my buddy interviewed her and she has that thing where she's like, she did that thing where she was like, listen, I eat hot wings with extra. She goes, it was great. She goes, I eat hot wings with uh, extra hot sauce and blue cheese and she goes and if you're a man and you do ranch and not blue cheese i'm done with you she goes chunky blue cheese and well, extra hot sauce and what i'm saying okay so there you go so you but got Rhonda would respect you to put her in her place i think just you know walking soft oh dude <laughs> dude fuck that you, you, you think gonna, Rhonda wants gonna, a pussy? She doesn't want a pussy. I know she doesn't, but I'm just saying, you know, we all were guys where you're going to piss her off. Now, you know what would be funny? A guy who starts to step up to her, and as soon as he sees that fucking neck flare up, he's like, nah, I'm kidding, sweetheart. I'm going to go. Dude, I want to do a bit <laughs> imitating, like, dating her. I just knew my body couldn't take it because I was going to be imitating getting the argument, and I was going <laughs> to flip over the stool, you know, like she does the arm bar thing. Yeah. Joe Rogan was backstage at the comedy store trying to show me how to do it. Without hurting myself. And I'm just like, dude, I'm not going to do this every fucking night. It would be fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. And I was going to be in the arm bar just going, oh, real mature. Real mature, Rhonda. <laughs> then when she goes for the choke, she's like, <laughs> like, just, you know, that panic you have when you can't breathe? It oh, would have been fucking hilarious, but it was just the level of pain. Yeah, that I was going to have to go through to do it. Oh, it yeah. might be something I might I, I'll wing now that I've kind of said the whole thing. Dirtier joke. clothes and shit. But just like, yeah, if she was actually like abusive, just, you know what I mean? It would be fucking brutal. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's a tough chick, man. She's awesome. I love her fights. Paul Verzi has a uh, new album coming out called... Yes, uh, please buy it, man. I'm really proud of it. Stand. I'm proud of it. It's uh, We uh, did it. It was uh, April 9th on Thursday. We sold out two shows. Uh, people came out. It was great, and I'm really proud of it. And uh, buy it, man. It'll be available tomorrow. It's my first one. It's my debut one. And, um, yeah, man, I hope uh, – I thank everybody. A lot of people pre, pre-ordered it, and it dropped soon. So I was kind of nervous when your first time you're putting something out. I'm kind of nervous. You nah, know? you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's great. Now, you know what you got, Paul? You got an asset. You invested, just, you invested in yourself. You know what I mean? Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Means a lot. <laughs>